Hello everyone, welcome to Average Joe Watch Reviews, where we do more than just reviews. Today we're doing the unboxing, we're actually doing a double unboxing. So, I'm going to give you a different perspective, and we're going to actually open this box up from Skagen. If you guys aren't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel, and also click a like. Definitely the most charitable way to help the channel. So, let's see what we have right here. And we actually have two different models here so um wanted to check them out um i found them very impressive so let's take out our trusty knife and let's cut into the box let's see what we got going on here okay Well, as you can see, we definitely have two Scoggins. I love the packaging. It's very modern, very no nonsense, but it's really hard stock and it's well done. So here's one and here's the other. So we don't need this anymore. So we go, oh, bye. All right. So let's take a look at the first one here. And you guys will get a first look at it. Check that out. It is the diver. It's called the Fisk. Good looking watch, guys. Wow, look at that. Good looking watch. This is definitely one of those watches that you would take on to the beach. Um, I love the silicone strap. Very, very comfortable. Um, bezel action. Very, very nice. Uh, what motivated this purchase was the Fisk that my fiance is wearing. Um, you could check that unboxing uh, down below in the description. Uh, that was, I was so impressed with that, that um, she actually bought me these two. So this one here is the blue version. And we have another one here. Let's check this one out. Oh yeah. This one here is the Pepsi from Skagen. Look at this. What a beautiful piece, guys. I am, I am extremely impressed by the Skagen brands. And again, bezel action. I mean, there's like, there's virtually no back play with these things. Very nicely done. Very clean design, okay? The bracelet on it is extremely great quality. So uh, let's get a different perspective and take a little bit of a closer look of these watches. So this is the Pepsi version of Scoggin. And again, um, well, let me, let me show you guys the, the price. 145 list price. I got it for less than that even, if you can believe that. Um, I don't know if they're going to be running the sale by the time you guys see this, but um, man, you guys got to check out Scoggin's website sometimes because they do run some really crazy sales. For $44, this piece is now mine, and I couldn't be any happier. Um, this is a crazy watch for $44. The bezel action on it is, check that out, guys. I mean, do you expect that kind of bezel action at a $40 watch? Well, let's just be honest. It's not a $40 watch, right? I mean, this, the MSRPs are usually for um, boutiques, and they typically sell them for, you know, maybe they'll sell them for $135, $125, okay? just so that they can look like they're giving you a deal. This is not a $40 watch, guys, all right? This is definitely not. Um, this one definitely, um, I would say, is a $120 watch easily, easily. Um, but I even think that the finishing on this is even above that. I mean, look at the finishing on this case. That is well above the standards that I've seen on any watch costing this much money. 
that is great finishing. I mean, the bezel action, great bezel action for a watch at this price point. Look at the dial. I want to show you guys a loom shot of this. Very good loom for the price point. Very attractive watch. And this, the strap, this is a mesh strap, shark mesh. Very nicely done. It actually has Scoggin branding on it. And it just, it feels good. I mean, it's it feels like a quality strap. So I'm actually gonna put this one on the wrist, show you what it looks like. Today I'm wearing the Tissot Swissmatic. This is the V8. This is your entry level Tissot. You can get these in the two to $300 range. And let me tell you something, you are definitely spending your hard earned money on a quality watch from Tissot. Um, this brand has been around since 1853 and these guys make some really nice watches. So um, if you're in uh, the mood for a good Swiss watch, this one's very sporty, I highly recommend it. So let's take a look at the Skagen on the wrist without seeing if I have to take the, the packaging paper uh the tag off and everything let's just see if i can just get this on i know i'm gonna have to adjust the shark mesh but i just want to give you guys an idea as to what it looks like on the wrist there you go very very sharp i like this piece a lot and i'm gonna do a comparison later on against the patty I mean, Scoggin's not obviously um, clomaging the, the watch. And as you can see, this is a quartz and this is an automatic. But I want to I do the comparison, though, um, just based off of quality, everyday wearability, and just, just have a fun video for you. So, so watch out for that one. But if you don't want to pay Seiko money, and you'll want to get a quality piece, man. I'm telling you, if you don't mind a quartz watch, I think this one will fit the bill. Made in Denmark, 330 feet of water resistance. Really, really nice. Um, I'm really, really impressed by the Skagen brand. And um, I hope that you guys can check it out. So here's the other one that we got. It is blue silicone strap very similar uh look to the fisk that um i got my fiance i'm sorry she got herself i didn't get that one for her she actually found that one and bought that you can see it's a 22 millimeter so yeah this one is actually very reminiscent to the uh fisk diver that my fiance got um you can actually see that video down below that unboxing um very very nice so now we actually can uh, wear our scoggins together uh this one is definitely a fun piece that you would, could wear on the beach look at the colors on this one very very nicely done i like the fact that it's not a sunburst style i like that it's very just clean I like the way that the colors just really stand out on this watch. Um, just very cleanly done. And again, same bezel action with, man, this one has very, it, there's just no, no back play. It's very impressive, guys. And again, this is a like a black PVD case. Um, nicely done, nicely finished. Quick release straps on each one of these watches including including the shark mesh milanese bracelet here so yeah there you go guys uh, two really nice divers from scoggin if you can get over the whole quartz thing um i think you're you're really i think you would really sell yourself short if you just say well i'm not gonna get them because they're quartz well Look, guys, you guys buy, you love your Casios, and they're all quartzes as well. And this will cost you as much as a Casio Duro. And let me tell you, um, this is every bit uh, as nice, if not nicer than. I mean, the fit and finish of this watch, um, I would have to say, is better than any Casio of this price range that I know of.
but that's up to you to decide. But, um, man, check out Scoggin. Let me know what you guys think down below. Are these watches worthy of your collection? If so, why? If not, let me know down in the comments below. You won't hurt my feelings. But these are definitely two really nice watches that my fiance found on Scoggin. And want to thank her for uh, picking these up and having these on the channel. So, guys, remember that there's always time to be kind to one another. Please take care of each other, and I'll see you guys next time on Average Watch Reviews. God bless, my friends. Yeah.